Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the Excel 2010 course and this is uh, week number four and this is actually the third and final part of week number four. And this topic today is just going to be on printing from Excel. I'm going to make this pretty brief. Um, just want to point out a few things because sometimes it can be a little tricky to print things on the page the way you would like them. So what I've done here, by the way, is up on the top of the sheet I've put down a couple common functions and the steps to do those. For example, um, change margins. Uh, you go to the page layout tab and you go to margins. So let me do that real quick. I'll go to page layout. I'll go to margins and I'm going to click. I can either choose one of the defaults here or I can go into custom margins. And you see that will bring up the page setup uh, tab here. So in the margins, let's assume I just want to change these to be smaller. I can do that. I can change these all to be smaller here. And then I can um, I can click print or print preview. Um, the other thing I can do on this on this page setup is I can go to header and footer if I want to. I can go to the sheet. This is very common to turn on and off the grid lines for printing. So strictly up to you. Uh, the other thing you can do is choose whether you want to print row and column headings. I'll give you an example here. So you can see here I've got the columns and the rows. Let me go back to page setup and I will go to um, also here on the page you've got portrait which puts it in vertical display or landscape um, horizontal display and you notice over here um, you've got scaling and this is because I was experimenting experimenting with this sheet before is it's adjusted to 83 percent if you're using some of these functions like insert page break remove page break things like that and it's not working go back here and see if it's adjusted off of off of 100 uh, percent and uh, so for example if I go over here and go to let's change this to fit to one page by three pages tall you'll see what will happen it had to compress it because I've got so much data down below it shrinks it so it'll make it so small you can't even read it so I'm going to go back into page setup uh, let me just demo something for a second here if I go back to the home tab and I go here and I go to I'll go to column H here and then I'll go to page layout, break, insert break, and now you can see if I go to view, page break preview, you see it's not there. And the reason why it's not there, I'm going to go back to normal view and I will go back to the page setup. Um, let me just jump back in there. I'll go back to the, let me go to page layout here and go in there. I'll go back here and just pull it up like this. Um, multiple ways to get to page setup and then under page if I go back here and I change that to adjust to hundred percent and say okay now you can see it will put them I can go ahead and add them wherever I want to I can go to break uh, where's that at? sorry breaks insert page break you see it added it and then also by the way your cursor you're going to highlight the whole row or column to the to the right or to the right of it here in the column example and then in this case I'm going to do remove page break alright so I'm going to go ahead and just remove a couple of these uh, I'm going to go back to my I'm going to go to file print and I'm going to go to page setup and I'm going to go to I'm going to change it to landscape and then I'm also going to fit to and if you see this I can do one page by I can put everything on one page. Let me get rid of that um, row and column headings. And I'll do grid lines as an example. Okay, so now I'm going to go back over here and then I'm going to go to... Uh, what I want to do now is I want to look and see what it would look like. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go over here. And now you can see, here's the preview. It compressed it terribly um, there. So it's unreadable now. So what I want to do is go in here and make this more realistic. See, it made it 11% of the size. So now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to make this, let's say, one page wide by six pages tall. And now you can see it's much more readable. And if I go back in there to page setup, uh, I see it's 64%. So now I could go to eight pages tall and you see it gets even more readable. And that's that custom scaling option there that you can... Um, choose here but you can do the same thing in page setup and then the only other thing that I really want to show you here is that um, if you just want to print a selection you can go in here 
let's assume you just want to print this um, you can go ahead and choose file print and then you can choose um, print the selection and there you see it displays it right here so you can highlight just the area to print print and I think oh the one other thing is up here in the quick access toolbar um, you can go ahead and hit the little option button here and add I've already done it but add the quick print option you see that puts a print printer icon here if you click that um, it'll just print your sheet now that's unformatted that's um, that's you know not really very um, typically very uh, usable but if you just have a small amount of data on one sheet uh, it's pretty handy so anyways that's what I want to share with you thanks for joining and take care